Hi, so uh, let's begin the next set, the archery tournament set. Uh, it was probably the toughest set in the morning slot. Uh, not a very difficult point, if uh, difficult set if you get the right breakthrough in the very beginning. Uh, but if how much time will you take to reach up to that breakthrough is one uh, is kind of a task in itself. Let us see what is the question about all about. So they say that there are six players T U W X Y and Z. They competed in an archery tournament. The tournament had three compulsory rounds. Okay, so three come rounds. Each person had to play. So that was round one, round two, and round three. These three rounds, everyone had to play. Okay, ये तीन round compulsory हैं हमारे पास. And in each round, player shot an arrow at a target hitting the center called bullseye. Fetched a score of five. So if the player is sitting at right at the center, the uh, score he is getting a five. Otherwise, he is getting four, three, two, and one. Okay, there is one is the minimum possible score. Every bullseye scored in the first three round. Gave a player an additional chance to shoot in the bonus round four to six. So, if, for an instance, the player has hit hit five, four, and three in round one, two, three respectively, then he will get one extra chance of hitting it in round number four, and he will not participate in five and six. For an instance, a player has uh, done five, and then three, and then a five again. So he has hit the bullseye twice. Now he is eligible of taking part in two next two rounds. He will hit at four. He will let it hit at five and not at six. Hitting a bullseye in a fourth or a fifth position will not give you, will not fetch you any extra chance. Okay. Now, the possible score in round four, uh, six were identical in the first three. So five, four, three, two, one are the possible score again. In the table, NP means the player did not participate, while a hyphen means that the player participated while the information is missing. That is quite evident. Okay. Then there is some additional information given to us. That TUY had the same total score. The scores of all the players except one were the multiple of three. A very good point. The height highest total score was one more than double of the lowest total score. So highest total score was an odd number. From here I can easily get that. Okay, because it is of a type two x plus one, so it has to be an odd number. Now Tenzi and Tenzi and Zenika had same score in round one, but different score in round three. Okay, so we will be using this information somewhere. So let's see what we can fetch out of it and how we can proceed. First of all, I know that T, U, and Y have the same total scores. Since the three people T is equal to U is equal to Y, I know for a fact that three people have same equal score, and I also know for a fact that there were uh, all the scores except one was a multiple of three. So this means that T is equal to U is equal to Y is is equal to of a type three K, okay? Why? Because अगर इनमें से किसी एक का भी score three का multiple नहीं होगा, इसका मतलब तीनों का score तीन का multiple नहीं होगा, which is not a possibility, okay? Even if the if one of the scores is different and not a multiple of three, it will reflect that all the totals of T U Y are not a multiple of three, which is not possible because there is only one such score which is not a multiple of three. So all these scores have no option but to be a multiple of three. Okay, so ये हमें पता लग गया है T U V T U Y are equal and are a multiple of three. T U and Y. Let us also find out some other things that how many bullseye each player has hit. Okay, why? Because we can find it. Round four, five, six. Player one has uh, got only one chance of hitting in round four, which means that he must have hit one bullseye. So player one has hit one bullseye. Okay, player one has hit one bullseye. I'll keep it. Okay. Similarly, Umeza have scored two bullseyes. Wangdu has scored zero bullseye because he didn't participate in any further event. Zayla hit two bullseye. Oh, sorry, Zayla hit three bullseye because uh, this score is not valid, not given to us, which means that she has she must have hit three bullseye. So her score will be five. फाइव फाइव एंड ए डैश वो हमें नहीं पता अभी इट इज क्वाइट एविडेंट दिस फाइव 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 योनिता मस्ट हैव हिट वन बुल्स आई जेनिका मस्ट हैव हिट टू बुल्स आई ठीक है सो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ बुल्स आई टू वन थ्री सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन बुल्स आई आपके नेक्स्ट इज हाइएस्ट स्कोर वॉज वन मोर देन डबल ऑफ द लोएस्ट टोटल स्कोर हाइएस्ट स्कोर इज वन मोर देन द लोएस्ट स्कोर डबल ऑफ द लोएस्ट स्कोर सो हाइएस्ट स्कोर मस्ट बी एन Or number we inferred that earlier also. 
last thing. Uh, so next point. The number of players hitting bullseye in round two was double of that of round three. I know that for a fact that there are three rounds. Round one, round two, and round three. There are three rounds. Now, bullseye hit in round one. So round two was double of that of round three. So if round three had zero, it has zero, it has nine. Which is not possible because I know that Zyla hit a bullseye in round two, which is not possible. Okay. Anyways, this is not a feasible case. If this is one, this is two, and then this has to be a six. And this representing six means all the six players in the first round have hit a bullseye, which is again not possible because Vagru did not hit a bullseye. Okay, so this case is also flawed. Now, if it is two, it is four, it is three. Two, four, six, and three. Now, it is one of the possible cases. Let's move ahead. If this is 3, this is 6, this is 0. Again, this is not possible because I know for a fact that Zyla has definitely hit a bullseye. So, it is also not possible. So, yani ki which case sustains? The only case that sustains is 3, 4, 2, 1. Yani there were 3 bullseye in round this, 4 in this and 2 in this. So, this I can sustain from here. Okay, let's move ahead. Good breakthrough. Now, there are three, uh, three bullseye here. One hit hit by Zyla. Uh, I know something about the total scores. That TUY had the same total score. Let us see what, what they can arrive at. T has a five of a here, four here. He must have hit one more five. So T's total score is five plus four plus five, which he must have hit, hit because he is eligible for round four, plus a dash. So T's total score is 14 plus a dash, a blank. U's total score is 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 5 plus dash. Why two fives? Because he has participated in round 4 and round 5. So it is 13 plus dash. Similarly, uh, if I talk about Y, it is 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus dash. Okay. Uh, sorry, not here. 3. 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus dash. So it is again 13 plus something. Okay. It is given to us. Now, if I move ahead, I know all of them have reached to a multiple of 3. So if I have to make 13 plus something a multiple of 3 and remember 5 cannot come here because if 5 comes here, he will be eligible for one more round, but he is eligible for only one round. Okay. Yunita uh, is eligible for only one extra round. Seems so it means that she has hit only one five and we have counted that already. So it means the maximum I can put here is four, which will not make it a multiple of four. So obviously I will put two uh, over here. So Yaniki, Yunita had hit a two. 13 plus two, 15. Plus two, 15. Plus two, 15. Plus one, 15. So Tenzi's total score is 15. Tenzi's total score is 15 and also I know that the other scores that he has hit are 5 and 1 in any order. The other scores he has hit is 5 and 1 any of the order whether a 5 in round 1 or uh, uh, 5 in round 1 or 1, or 1 in round 3 or vice versa. But the total score of her is 15 and she has the other scores are 5 and 1. I know. For Umeza, the total score is 15 and she has hit a 5, a 5 and 2, which has to be substituted in these ways. Bangalu, I don't have any information. Zyla, the total score is uh, again not known as of now. Yonita, the total score is 15 again and she has hit 5, 3, 8 and 5, 13, uh, 5 and 2 in any of the orders. Okay. And Zenika, 5, 5, 10. And uh, there are some, there are two more fives here. Okay. So five and five and a dash. Also, I know for a fact, now, now I have utilized the fact that T is equal to U is equal to Y. I have extrapolated some information. I have used it here right now. I, what else is given to us? We are given that Tenzi and Zanika had the same score in round one, but different score in round three. Now, it is possible that Tenzi has a five. Zenika has a 5. So it is possible that they both have 5 here. It is possible. Okay. And then Tenzi will have a 1 here. Let us say if this case fits or not. 
if i am putting a 5 and 5 over here theek hai then then moving ahead uh, i can say that z has to be something else here which i don't know and uh, the total number of bulls i hit in this round are 3 which is completed in this round is 2 1 5 is here 1 5 is again somewhere else i have to fit it again theek hai but i know that 3 bulls i are here and are fitted so umeza's rest to bulls i will come here 5 and 5 and umeza's 2 will go here so 1 and 2 i need two more bulls i and they must be this one 5 and 5 theek hai so for yonita 2 is here 2 5 and 3 5 5 and this score is not known as of now vangnu dash dash 4 and dash theek hai and this this completes my specific arrangement as of now had i taken the other case 1 and 5 and i would have done 5 here then in that case i would have uh, four fives in round 3 which is not a possible case i have concluded that there are only two fives okay so that is anyway not a possible case so now i have sorted this information also okay i have sorted with this information also now i have sorted their total scores also so i am not needing it now but i know that highest score is uh, one more than twice the lowest score ये मुझे पता हो गया ठीक है अब हाइस्ट स्कोर किस किस का हो सकता है मैं बस तीन लोगों का स्कोर है और तीन लोगों का स्कोर नहीं है तो लेट मी राइट द स्कोर ऑफ वांगड़ू वांगड़ू इज फोर प्लस डैश प्लस डैश आई डोंट नो व्हाट एल्स ठीक है इफ आई टॉक अबाउट जायला जायला हैज 5 15 प्लस अ ब्लैंक एंड जेनिका जेनिका हैज 20 Plus a blank. I know that the total highest score, which is either of x or of z, is an odd number. We have concluded that because it is of a type 2l plus 1. Now, if I am putting using Zenica as a highest score, let us say I am using Zenica as a highest score. First things first, I cannot use a 1 in this blank. Why I cannot use 1 in this blank? Because if I will use 1, then I will have the same score of t and z in the round 3 also, which is not possible because the scores are different. So I cannot put a 1 here. So if I put a 3 here. The total score of z becomes twenty three, which is not a multiple of three. Yani all other scores must be a multiple of three. In this case, the lowest score would be two twenty three is equal to two l plus one. The lowest score will come out to be eleven, which is again not a multiple of three, which is not possible because only one of the scores doesn't uh, is not a multiple of three, which means this is a this is not a possible case. I cannot give it a five. Uh, if i have to move to the next odd number i cannot give it a 5 because she has it only two bulls i so zenica in any case is not having the highest total score theek okay, hai so what is it i don't know let's move on to the x part now x is the highest possible score we know this 21 plus something it has to be a multiple uh, it has to be an odd number i know so if i give it 2 i know that if giving it a 2 will make it 23 and the lowest score will come out at 11 which is not possible so let's remove this case what else is possible i can give it a 4 okay i can give it a 4 if i am giving it a 4 i have to since i have to make it an odd number so now the highest score is 25 highest score is 25 which is 12 plus 1 in this case the lowest score comes out to be 12 which is the possibility okay so the lowest score will come out to be 12 which belongs to vangdu And since he has it four here, so there is no other option. Four here and four here, twelve. And now Zenica five 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 and dash. I know it has to become a multiple of. Uh, it I know that for a fact that it has to become a multiple of three because highest score, which is twenty five, is not a multiple of three. And I also know that it cannot have a one in the last round because t has one and t and z are different. So it has to have a four. So this now completes my. Set so the total score of Zenica will be twenty four. The total score of Zayla is twenty five. So this has completed my set here. Now let's see the question. What was the total score? Twenty five. Zenica's total score twenty four. Okay. Now uh, which of the following statement is true? Zayla's score was twenty three is a wrong statement. Zayla was the highest score is a true statement. Zenica's score was twenty three is again a false. Zenica was the highest score is always false. So these three are false. Tens is score in round three. Tens is score in round three is one. So these are my answers. As you can see, not a very difficult set, but yes, under the exam pressure, when you have so many sets to do, 
identifying this, putting your mind in this and grilling this will be a bit of a trouble task. Okay, so this completes my set. Let's move to the next set.